YouTube, what's good, y'all? Y'all gotta give me my credit today. Y'all gotta give me my credit. Man, we streamed two hours ago, you feel me? I'm finally back on the streaming. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to be consistent, but we did stream today. It was a good amount of people that turned out. I love y'all so much if y'all was in the stream. Make sure y'all get in the Discord so y'all do not miss when I stream. You feel me? Get in that Discord. Link in bio. All right, y'all, it's another day at work, you feel me? But we gonna have a little quick TED talk, quick little motivational speak before the video actually starts. So since we are talking about TikTok and talking about ads for this video, today I'm gonna talk about consistency. Um, I'm not sure if that was the last thing in the last video, but I'm gonna talk about consistency and actually like pushing through what y'all feel are like roadblocks. If y'all don't see any, I wanna say progress or y'all stuck in TikTok jail like a lot of us are. If you don't know what TikTok jail is, that's like 200, 500 views. If you're just stuck in there, you just gotta keep posting. I'm not gonna lie. And everything in life is gonna be roadblocks and you're not sure why these roadblocks are happening. You just gotta overcome them, you feel me? Everything, just know that everybody that was successful in life, they had some type of roadblock in front of them. And the reason they're successful now is because they overcame the roadblock. The reason a lot of people aren't successful is because a lot of people feel like they cannot overcome the roadblock. You feel me? So right now, a lot of us are in front of a, a, a roadblock is in front of us. And you feel me? We just have to work to overcome it. So that's the quick little motivation TED talk for today. Y'all enjoy the video. Yo, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I'm definitely dropping after the cruise. That's why y'all haven't seen me like posting a lot basically on my brand page i haven't been posting a lot because i'm basically speaking with my manufacturer we getting the teeth perfected i'm not even playing like they cool as hell you feel me um i just been constantly adding stuff to the teeth, like weight wise um alignment all that stuff i told them to do they're perfecting it now so they're doing the sample you feel me and then they're gonna send it to me make sure it's perfect and all that not a sample though but they're gonna send like a picture they're gonna send a picture make sure it's perfect and all that so i've been taking my time with the um with these t-shirts it's not a rush because i'm not gonna drop till i get back off the boat anyways you feel me so yeah in the meantime while i'm doing that i'm also working on some hoodies so i'm about to send them a little mock-up of my hoodies so when the sample does i mean when the bulk order comes for my t-shirts i also get the hoodies as well so i can start marking that after that um i can start marketing that after i drop the the t-shirt what's good youtube it's boy no life see movie back with another video in today's video we will be talking about TikTok ads because I'm still a squirrel in that world, you feel me? I'm still like a little little fish compared to y'all sharks out there. I'm still trying to learn the TikTok ads. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like low-key confused on it, but not really confused, I'm not gonna lie, because it's, it's similar to Instagram ads as far as like your interest, your age, you feel me? You can put all that stuff in there. On some regular stuff, calm stuff, you feel me? Real simple. But it's like, okay, cool. What does it really does it work? Does it contribute to followers? Does it contribute to me getting um sales like what does it really do so i gotta do some testing you feel me i gotta do some testing so boom i did my dues and i did what i had to do and i paid for tiktok ads on my last video you feel me so we go investigate the last video a little bit i'm gonna tell y'all what i seen from it what i got from it and if it did actually work let's get into it all right y'all we're gonna talk about this ad a little bit so basically i paid i believe it was 10 bucks tiktok ads they're really good. That's just how it is. I ain't gonna lie. It's really good. It's gonna get you the followers you need. It's gonna get you the views it says it's gonna get you. Sometimes more. You feel me? I think I paid $10 just for one day. And it promised me about, you know, the estimated views it gives you. I paid for views. So it gave me around like 800 to I think 2,000 views. I was like, wow, that's a, a wide range. But I ended up getting like 3,200 views around there. I guess the rest was like organic or whatever. But I was like, okay, cool. That's like pretty good you feel me 10 bucks for like 3,000 views that's honestly not bad um especially when like you're in tiktok jail for a a lot of us are in tiktok jail i feel like people do you do have to create a good a good video you can't just make basic videos and think it's gonna blow up or expect to get views um at the end of the day you just have to be consistent you feel me because i know a lot of people are gonna be like well i've been on tiktok and i see people blow up off regular videos but that's just not the case for everybody that's just the honest truth it's gonna work for some people it's not gonna work for everybody that's just facts and everything in life you know what i'm saying so boom that's that but yeah i paid ten dollars for a day and it did what it did but one thing i did notice i did notice prior to that i had around um i had around 530 people um sign up on my email so i check my shopify emails every day because i want to track you feel me i'm tracking where all the the signups come from and this and that so i like to always look at my analytics you feel me because 
that's really important y'all tracing where your data tracing your data is extremely important you need to know where you're getting the followers from you need to know where people are you feel me why people are signing up on the email is it something you posted that day why people sign up to your sms like what did you do you know what i'm saying so that's really important so boom i did pay for the tiktok ads and prior to that i had like 5 30 i think the very next day i had 570 and in my head i'm like where did this come from you get what i'm saying where did this come from where did this come from like how did i get an extra 30 to 40 people sign up on the email and then i thought to myself that same day prior i did buy i did pay ten dollars for the tiktok ads so that's my my guess there like hold on did all the people that signed up came come from that you know what i'm saying so that was just a little trial and error um i was like okay cool that's something i learned that was my best bet because i i honestly y'all i haven't been running ads that's another thing i wanted to say i have not been running ads on my ig at all i haven't ran ads since my last drop my last drop was like a month ago you feel me i have not ran, ran ads since then and i've been gaining i gained over probably 500 i want to say four to five hundred followers and i have not been paying for ads bro it, I, I haven't even been posting really i just been posting teasers of my next drop and that's pretty much been it i've been gaining followers every single day so um i'm i'm trying to get to the point where i don't really have to do too much on ads like pay a lot of money in ads not that i ever did for real, for real but i don't want to get to the point where i have to keep on paying on ads i want it to be all organic so i don't know hopefully i'll get to that point but on the next drop i'm gonna make sure i do like a minimum amount because i really want to just drive organically 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 you know what i'm saying but yeah i haven't been paying on a no type of ads on ig at all you feel me i went from like 2100 to like 2500 in like less than a month you know what i'm saying so we gained like 400 followers out of nowhere um just off the strength of i don't know the page i don't know what it's doing i don't know where they're coming from but they're following all right so hopefully this next drop go crazy go crazy but yeah i've been perfecting the tease for y'all i'm not gonna go live and perfecting it i want to make sure it's the right weight um it feels i want i want the feeling to be expensive you feel me i want it to feel luxury like y'all get your money's worth i don't want to put out nothing bad that's why i've been you feel me um that's why it's really been taking so long really and truly it could have been here this week but i told them like nah we need to make some changes like make the gsm a little bit heavier like make the fit a little bit better you know what i'm saying like that's what i've been working on this week and my manufacturer she's honestly super cool like she's super cool she was willing to like delay it or not rush it you know what i'm saying she was with it like she was listening to me like that's a lot of things people struggle with too when the manufacturers don't listen bro for some reason manufacturers just don't listen they do what they want to do for for they do, a lot of them don't listen and that was my biggest problem in the beginning of it like manufacturers just don't listen bro. i don't know why but yeah that's pretty much gonna be the video y'all let me know if y'all enjoyed this type of sit down talk you feel me you feel me from now and then we gotta sit down and chop it up we just do you feel me information is it's important sometimes we got to sit down and chop it up so that's what i felt like we had to be done today um either than that make sure y'all follow down below join the discord so y'all know when i um post you feel me also turn on post notifications that's really how you know when i post on time but y'all get in the discord i'm gonna try i'm gonna start by going live some of y'all was there you feel me i appreciate y'all i ain't even know that much people would pop out still because we used to stream often back then had a decent little crowd i'm not gonna lie i appreciate y'all and we streamed again and a good amount of people popped out again so i love y'all for that i appreciate that i don't take it for granted i'm gonna try my best to get back to streaming it's just a little hard because um it's like work overload bro i'm not gonna lie it's work overload i'm trying to get in my bag for real um spend all this not all this a lot of my money goes to my saving but a lot of money also goes to the brand because that's i feel like that's my way out of this for for us so the brand the brand the brand i've been taking more time into it you get what i'm saying um hoodies is coming y'all Hoodies is probably gonna come late november early december but they are coming i'm not gonna lie like i i got it in the works trust me i got the design done today i kind of I, I ain't gonna lie i did it myself because it's something light it's nothing crazy but the quality and everything is gonna do it i'm not gonna lie it looks nice but either than that it's been boy no life simi i love y'all so much y'all boys stay consistent don't give up on your brand don't give up on yourself for real, for real. and i'm gone